It has been a busy July for the Seaco Science Center as officials have been inundated with calls reporting beach seals. Um, so areas like North Beach and Hampton, we've had quite a few animals. Um, Wallace Sands up here in Rye, the main beach of Hampton. Ashley Stokes is the Marine Mammal Rescue Manager. Harbor seals are the most commonly seen species of seal um, in our area. Stokes points out female harbor seals recently gave birth between mid-May and mid-June, and young pumps are only with their mothers for three to four weeks, which is why this time of year is prime for seal sightings. Uh, but these animals are completely on their own now. It's just that some of them are struggling. They're struggling to forage on their own. Some calls have been for deceased seals, while others are found with injuries from propeller strikes or are just having a hard time surviving. Some of the live ones are doing great. Others aren't doing great and would benefit from rehab. But Stokes says the center's rehab facilities are currently full, putting a strain on how many animals they can help. Uh, they do both hope to open a few spots in the next week or two, which would be great. It would open up a few beds, so to speak, for some of these small animals, um, but some of them also don't need it. And if you come across a seal that appears to be in distress, there is a way you can help without bothering the animal. And the Science Center just reminding both residents and tourists that it is normal to see the seals on the shoreline. They say they are in their natural habitat, so they just advise to leave the animals alone if you do come across one while at the beach. In Rye, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.